Right, hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is the first movement day of the lambs. So, if you're watching the channel closely, you will know we have started paddock grazing and it is now my little obsession. So, they've been in this little paddock now for about three days approximately. It might be a few hours here or there. This is why it's looking like there's plenty of grass still in here and they're going onto this paddock here. So, we'll crack on. Hope you enjoy guys. If you do, don't forget to like, subscribe. Let's get these sheep moved. Go on, Amos. And just like I was saying before, this is the other side of the paddock they were just in, so they have grazed it down quite nicely. Pop that electric back on. There is a storm brewing. Hopefully not, because I am off doing some raking after this. So going out, going off to help the farmer next door with uh, some silage. Right, now they're moved, I will talk a bit more about the plant with the grass that's starting to get away. We have, very luckily, the bee flock and their lambs in the field next door. So what we're planning is, is to pretty much graze down two or three of the paddocks right down ahead of these lambs, which should even it all back up. So me not thinking when we started doing the paddock grazing, all the grass I said before was the right length to graze then. It's gonna be at least 12 days from when we started until they get to the last paddock and in that time the grass will probably get away from them so by grazing two of the paddocks right down with the ewes and lambs should get us back in the cycle and then later on in the summer we might do the same with shearling ewes or to be fair the lambs from the bee flock are going to join them so we should be about where we want to be i one ewe the last couple of weeks it started getting stuck on her back it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, girl. It's okay. No, we are not. Oh, there we are. have got much better but whilst I had the drone up just looking at them as they were moving could you see the difference in colour of that pad that those lambs are grazed that just really shows how well they have grazed that compared to the others and even the field here this triangular field as they were moving over you can see how well they've grazed this just by the colour when it's deep nice green it's about readiness for grazing and then when it goes to this yellowy colour a bit of the uh, goodness has gone out of it I'm going to touch a lot of wood here because the lambs are the bottom paddock, so they've got a field in between those lambs and these ewes. So I'm hoping they respect this fence because I do not want to be splitting them up, but we'll go with it. It's a new system we're using. Efficiency is key. Efficiency is key. Now we're off raking. We're not cutting grass at home. 
I'm actually raking for a farm down the road because they are silagium. So I assume they cut this yesterday or the day before. They got three trailers on the go, they got a chopper, I'm on the rake and I'm just trying to keep ahead of them. One, two, three. And that is all of the lambs in. So we just got we've got them in quickly just to get them for a foot bath. As I said at the start of the video, there's still a few with sore feet. They're a lot better than they were a week ago. So hopefully we're on through now. If we have to do it again, we have to do it again. But they're on the improvement, so I'm happy. And they're growing really well. Later this week we're gonna get them in for a way. I'm just kind of short of weight scales currently. So um can't do that to say which is slightly annoying but <coughs> but I reckon we're gonna have some ready to go in the next maybe even this time or next week or very soon anyway <laughs> That is the lambs all foot bathed. We've actually just ran them through twice because we're in a nice dry area for them to stand. So once they've been through once, they stood there for about 20 minutes and we ran them through again. They've gone back out to grass now after standing for a second time. Fingers crossed that does the job. It don't take long once they know what they're doing because they all just run through, which is ideal. Final job on now, we are going muck carting. So I need to do a bit of a change of with the tractor, get the bucket on. Get the muck trailer on uh, we're going to go and pick a load of muck up from a horse yard so that is how my day is finishing off and off we go we've just got george and alex over the other side of the yard filling some birds up 
bit and you've been they're just going down to field next where that paddock graze where we've had it grazing the sheep and spreading fur so that'll be ready for hay sooner than later now we just need the weather like the last two weeks it's gone back to rain and every day and it's not ideal even if it's not rain all day we're getting some heavy showers like two three mil at least every day which it's not hay making weather it's not haylage making weather either Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 